Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're having a look at Excel for Finance tips and the question we're trying to answer is what is leverage? If you don't already have this sheet and you want to play with it, you can go to ExcelExperts.com and you can download it from the free finance training videos section. And there's a whole description of what's going on. So let's have a look at leverage. What is leverage? It's very basically a way of increasing the risk that you put your capital to. That sounds like a pretty bold statement, but that's exactly what it is. So the way you do this is by borrowing money to buy an asset, adding that to your deposit, and then when the asset price changes, your deposit or the money you put down makes either a big gain if it goes up or a big loss if it goes down. Let's see this in action. So suppose we buy a house. Most people are familiar with buying houses and it is the biggest form of leverage that most people will ever take. So you put a 10,000 deposit to, uh, with a mortgage of 80, your leverage is eight because you're buying, you're borrowing eight times your deposit, and you can now buy a house worth ninety thousand. Okay, what happens if the house price goes up by ten percent? Okay, the new house price is ninety nine thousand. What's the return on your money? Well, it's ninety percent. If this goes up. 10% per annum, then you're making 90% per annum. And that rate will increase the more it goes up. So that's fantastic. Suppose it goes down 10%. Okay. Well, guess what? You lose 90% of your deposit because the price was 90. It went down to 81 your mortgage is 80, that means you've got one left, so you've lost 9,000, nine, you've lost 9,000 on 10,000, you've lost 90%. What happens if the price goes down 15%? Well, not only do you lose all your original money, but you actually lose 35% more. You have to dig into your pocket to fund that extra. So, leverage, very, very dangerous thing. Important that you understand it properly before you go into a leveraged investment. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com.